This video will show you how to create a KDP coloring book using the Adobe Capture app, Firefly, and Photoshop. Adobe Capture allows you to turn any image into a clean, scalable vector image to use in a variety of creative cloud apps. Firefly is Adobe's new artificial intelligence tool that allows you to use generative AI and simple text prompts to bring your ideas to life. Finally, Photoshop is the most used tool for professional digital art that will allow you to transform your creations into a KDP coloring book. KDP, or Kindle Direct Publishing, is Amazon's tool that allows you to self-publish books for free. KDP will print your books on demand and ship them around the world. Adobe Capture First, go to the App Store and download the Adobe Capture app, which is available for iOS and Android devices, and is free to download through the iTunes App Store and Google Play. The app works on the iPhone, iPad, iPad Pro, Android phones, Android tablets, and Chromebooks. Adobe explains that you need either a free or paid Creative Cloud membership to use the app. After downloading Capture, draw an image that you would like to use in your coloring book. The key here is not trying to be a perfectionist, but you can of course use tools like a ruler or you can generate shapes for your image from your phone or computer on apps like PowerPoint, Photoshop, and Canva. After you draw your image, open the Capture app, tap the camera icon, and take a picture of your drawing by pressing the shutter button, which is the circle at the bottom of the screen. Edit your image by using the refine option, which allows you to erase portions of your drawing or add to your image with the draw tool. Press done. Once you're satisfied, and then tap the crop option if you want to adjust the frame of your drawing. Press the smooth option and tap the on option at the bottom of the screen to smooth the lines of your image. Once you're happy with your image, press save, name your creation, and then tap save again. Now that your drawing is saved, open your library and tap your image. Next, press the three circles icon next to your pick and then tap the export as option. Choose SVG and use your messages app or email to send your image to your computer so you can open it in Photoshop. Firefly User Guide. If you cannot draw, you can use Adobe's Firefly tool to create images for your coloring book using AI. To do so, go to firefly.adobe.com. Before we start, let's review the Firefly User Guide. Adobe explains that prompts are instructions given to AI to perform a task or generate an output. They play a crucial role in guiding the AI's behavior and influencing the quality and relevance of its responses. Write descriptive prompts to generate extraordinary and vibrant images. If you don't like the results, reword your prompt to get closer to what you want. Here are some tips and tricks so you can get the most value out of Firefly. Be specific. Use at least three words in your prompts and don't use words like generate or create. Use simple, direct language with the subject, descriptors, and keywords. The first example Adobe provides is fluffy cat sitting on a windowsill looking out at a city space. The second example is series of three upside down waterfalls in a fantastical alien landscape, and finally, time traveler's cluttered workshop filled with a mix of futuristic gadgets and historical artifacts. 100 Flowers by Jade Summers is one of the most popular coloring books on Amazon. If you wanted to create a similar coloring book using Firefly, you would want to enter specific types of flowers, along with additional words to describe the arrangement of other elements in your desired output. Instead of entering a broad phrase like beautiful flowers, enter a specific prompt like roses in garden water can on front porch of house or sunflower wreath in heart shape on oval shaped door. The second tip is to be descriptive. If you can describe it, you can create it. Being more descriptive makes the possibilities endless. Let your imagination run wild and see what you can come up with. The first example is woman with long flowing hair and blue eyes, white dress, field of flowers, realistic picture. The second example is a tropical island paradise, pristine turquoise waters, lush greenery, and vibrant exotic fruits. Realistic. And finally, steampunk submarine underwater navigating past bioluminescent sea creatures. Cozy Spaces is a very successful coloring book by Coco Y.O. It features cute animals in cozy spots to help you relax. If you wanted to create a coloring book with similar images, you would want to be as descriptive as possible. For example, cute dog sleeping on teacup-shaped bed with outer space and background, simple, or baby kitten, relaxing in mushroom-shaped house surrounded by mountains, simple, doodle. The third tip is to be original. Push Firefly to create unique results by using natural language to describe what you want to achieve, including feeling, style, lighting, and more. The first example is serene beach at sunset, gentle waves, palm trees. The second example is distant galaxy teeming with colorful nebulae, twinkling stars. 
And finally, stylish burgundy high heels, futuristic design with translucent materials featuring intricate metallic details. Stress Relief by Kite Fox Publishing is a perfect example of an original coloring book with a unique theme. Each page has mythological fantasy style images designed to help you find your inner peace through creative expression. If you wanted to generate similar images, you could enter a prompt into Firefly like mythological mushroom garden folkloric or whimsical mermaid fairy tale ocean. The fourth tip is to be empathetic. Bring empathy to your creations to cut through the noise and reach your target audience. Think about what's important to them. Use words like love, gentle and playful to generate a heartwarming image, or powerful, strong and uplifting to create an inspiring one. The first example is a lonely man standing on the edge of a desolate cliff overlooking a vast and barren landscape lo-fi. The second example is tender moment of a child sharing a heartfelt conversation with their elderly grandparent, love wisdom. Finally, a joyful carnival filled with colorful balloons, lively performers, rainbow-hued decorations, orange-purple. I Am Confident, Brave and Beautiful is a very successful coloring book by Hopscotch Girls, and it uses empathy to reach its target audience. Each page has powerful illustrations that encourage girls to think beyond social conventions. If you wanted to create a similar coloring book, you could use a prompt like a female scientist joyfully celebrates new discovery or female basketball player determined to win, lit. Prompts like these enable you to generate powerful images that show emotion and help you reach your target audience. Firefly in Action. The Adobe Firefly Overview page has a plans and membership section. It explains that since generating content with AI models requires significant computational resources, we have updated our plans to include a monthly allocation of generative credits. Your Creative Cloud, Adobe Express, Adobe Firefly, and Adobe Stock Paid Plan include a plan specific number of monthly generative AI creations powered by Adobe Firefly. Free Creative Cloud users also receive a set number of monthly generative AI creations. When that monthly limit is reached, they can subscribe to a paid plan to continue creating Firefly-powered assets or wait until credits. Reset the next month. Time to see Firefly in action. Go to firefly.adobe.com. I'm working on a flower coloring book, so I'll enter daisies and garden watering can, and then click generate. Four images will appear, but we'll have to modify the settings to get images ideal for a coloring book. In the general settings section, there's a model drop-down menu, which allows you to choose which version of Firefly you want to use. We'll keep Firefly Image 3 preview selected, the latest version. You can also select the aspect ratio from the following options. Landscape, portrait, square, or widescreen. I'll keep square selected. Under the content type section, you can select art or photo. You can turn on auto mode to have Firefly automatically select a content type for you. We'll select art to generate images for a coloring book. Under the structure section, you can upload a reference image or select one from the gallery. This reference image is used to influence and match the structure of the generated image variations. We don't need to upload a reference image in the structure section for the coloring book images we'll be creating. Under the Style section, use the Visual Intensity slider to modify the intensity of the photo's visual attributes. For art, you can transform from digital art by moving the slider to the left to something more illustrative by moving the slider to the right. We won't adjust these settings right now. Click the Upload Image button in this section to upload a style reference image. I use a simple line drawing of a chess piece. If we didn't have a reference image, you could click Browse Gallery to select one from the image gallery. Use the strength slider to adjust how closely the generated image variations should align with the style reference image. We won't modify this setting right now. Next, there's an Effects section. Click All to expand the menu. The following subsections are available. Movements, themes, techniques, effects, materials, and concepts. You can select multiple options from these menus to create an infinite range of unique generated images. From the theme section, I'll select cartoon and vector look. From the concept section, I'll select simple. Next, select black and white from the color and tone drop-down menu. There's also a lighting options drop-down menu that we won't modify right now. Finally, there's a camera angle drop-down menu, which we also won't modify for now. Tap the blue generate button and Firefly will create four images based on your prompt and settings. After you get your initial results, if you're not satisfied, you can try adding to your text prompt. As discussed in the Firefly user guide section of this video, if you add more descriptive words to your prompt, Firefly will generate more specific results. For suggestions to complete your prompt, turn on the prompt suggestions toggle, then write at least two words and pause for the suggestions to appear. 
select the prompt to use it, select the refresh icon for more suggestions, or hover over a prompt to select the report flag icon if you want to share feedback with Adobe. You can also refine your results by selecting different options from the effects menu. Once Firefly has generated an image you're satisfied with, download it and you can use Photoshop to make it an SVG file or send it to your phone and use the Capture app. To do so, save the image to your photos library and then open Capture. Next, tap the blue camera icon at the bottom of the screen and then press the image icon at the bottom right of the screen. Tap camera roll, choose your image, and then tap the check button. Use the refine, crop, and smooth tools, and once you're satisfied, press the save button. Photoshop. Adobe recommends using professional tools. Generative AI offers adaptability, allowing you to explore beyond your original ideas. You can modify your text prompts and experiment with the AI controls until you achieve the desired output. Then manually refine them for perfection using Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. We'll be using Photoshop in this tutorial. Open Photoshop and click New File. Set the width to 8 and uh, half, and set the height to 11. Next, set the resolution to 600 and click Create. The easiest way to get your SVG into Photoshop is by saving it to your desktop and dragging it onto your document. Adjust the size of your image and use the Move tool to place it where you want it on the page. Use the guidelines if you want it centered. Once you're satisfied, save your file as a PDF by clicking File and then Save As. From the Format drop-down menu, click Photoshop PDF and then press Save. To convert your Photoshop files to PDFs in bulk, you'll need the Bridge app. Open one of your Photoshop files and in the Actions window, click the Folder icon to create new set. Next, click the plus icon to create new action. The action will begin recording. Save the file as a PDF and stop the action. Go to Bridge and select the files you want to convert. Go to Tool, Photoshop, and then click Batch. Choose a destination folder and make sure the box is checked to override Action Save as commands. Click OK and all the files you selected will be converted to PDFs. Cover. The cover of your coloring book is critical since it will be the first thing a potential buyer will see. When consumers browse coloring books on Amazon, they'll see the covers as thumbnails so the title should be large, clear, and readable, and your design should be eye-catching. The most effective covers are simple. To evaluate your cover, compare it to successful coloring books on Amazon's bestsellers list. Remember, the most important factors to analyze are the clarity of your book's title, the visual appeal of the colors you use, and the quality of the images. Use KDP's Print, Cover, Calculator, and Templates tool to find the exact dimensions of your cover and download a template to be used as a guide layer in Photoshop or any image editing software you're using. For binding type, select Paperback. For interior type, select Black and White. Set paper type to White Paper and choose Left to Right from the Reading Direction drop-down menu. Choose Inches for Measurement Units and choose 8.5 by 11 inches for the interior trim size. Enter the number of pages of your coloring book and then click Calculate Dimensions. A reference image will appear along with the dimensions of your book. Click Download Template and unzip the file. You have a PDF and PNG template. You can open the PNG file with Photoshop. Right click the layer and then click New Layer. You can use the Paint Bucket or Gradient tool to add your background and then add your front cover design to the right side of the page. The left side of the template will be the back of your coloring book and the center is the spine. Add your title plus some of the images from your coloring book. Your title should be large and your images should be high quality. Remember, the best covers are simple. Once you're satisfied with your design, save your file as a PDF. Adobe Acrobat Pro. Now that you have your coloring book pages, we'll use Adobe Acrobat Pro to prepare the manuscript that you'll upload to KDP. Open all your pages and then click Combine Files in the Tools menu. Click Add Open Files and then click Add Files. Now that your pages are combined into one file, we'll add blank pages between each of your coloring book pages to prevent bleed through. To do so, click Organize Pages, Insert, and then click Blank Page. Once you add one, you can copy and paste it until you have a blank page after every coloring page. Once you're done, save the file so you can upload it to KDP. Publish.
to upload your cover and manuscript to KDP. Sign in and then click the Create button. Click the Create Paperback button and then enter a book title and subtitle. My title will be 123 Spring Flowers and my subtitle will be a coloring book for adults, kids, seniors, and beginners. We won't make this a series and we won't add an edition number. Add your name in the author section and complete the contributor section if other people helped you create your book. Next, add a description. The most effective way to write a description is by looking at the descriptions of successful coloring books on Amazon. Don't copy it, but use them as a guide. Keep it simple. Just give potential buyers a summary of your coloring book. In the publishing rights section, choose the I own the copyright and I hold necessary publishing rights. Next, complete the primary audience section. Choose a primary marketplace and select categories. Next, choose up to seven keywords, highlighting your book's unique traits. Amazon explains that keywords are short phrases, up to 50 characters that customers use to narrow their book search. For example, medieval fantasy books. Complete the publication date and release date sections, and then click the save and continue button. Select get a free KDP ISBN, and in the print options section, select the black and white interior with white paper, which is ideal for a coloring book. Select eight and a half by 11 in the trim size section, no bleed, and choose a paperback cover finish. Click the upload manuscript button and upload your PDF and then upload your book cover, which has to be a PDF. In the AI generated content section, let Amazon know whether you used AI tools to create your coloring book. Click the launch preview button and approve your book. Select the territories where your book will be available and then choose a primary marketplace. Enter the list price you'd like to sell your book for. It'll be available for purchase through the marketplaces listed in this section. To calculate your royalties, multiply your list price by the royalty rate, then subtract printing costs. To set a reasonable price, compare your coloring book to successful coloring books on Amazon with about the same number of pages. Request a proof to get a printed preview of your book before it goes live. This allows you to check for printing errors. If you request a proof, you'll receive an email from Amazon with a price. Once satisfied, click the Publish Your Paperback Book button 